Do you had a weird night last night? Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I thought you were very gentle and very reasonable, though. Thank you. I was trying to be. <clears throat> I was very upset, and I was trying. Yeah. Well, I wasn't at first. At first, I was like, dude, can you just not? Like, I thought I asked very nicely to just stop filming me. And I don't think that's that crazy of a request. It, it's not. But I think people don't understand, you know, because they're. Especially when they're black and you're white. <laughs> that, too. But that did say- not help my cause. I knew I looked like an asshole, like, especially to them. But I knew, like, all the other people were on my side, so I wasn't that worried about it. But it's I knew I still just looked like a racist asshole. Mm. But whatever. It looked like a <laughs> racist white dude saying, don't film me. Yeah, that, <laughs> I, I know how it looked. <laughs> but somebody's got to fucking say something. Yeah. it's People have to know. It's selfish of, of people like that, too. And I'm not even saying like black people, but people that behave in that way that yeah. go to a new environment and just assume they can do whatever they want. Yeah, dude, I was going to I was thinking about writing posts about it or some doing tweeting. I don't know. I was going to do something just like like if you're if you're coming in to somewhere that like this is like the second time you've been there like control your people that you bring. Um, and well, like, I'm going to stop you and say one, yes, control the people that you bring, but two, it's your second time. Don't be bringing people. Yeah, you crazy uh, yeah, person. Yeah. Don't <laughs> what are you bring, doing? Yeah. <laughs> come, There's, come watch me not tell jokes. Oh my God. Yeah. And then he had the nerve to say my name. I don't know who that is. It's like, bitch, I don't know who you are. <laughs> Fuck are you talking about, man. I don't know who Willie D is, but he clearly he the feature. It's like, bro, you're at an open mic at Worthington's. There's no feature. That's <laughs> what. <laughs> what's funny though is that like, <laughs> you could not be more wrong. Like, like not only were you not the feature, you also like more specifically would not have been the headliner. Like he's the yeah. wrong words. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That too. Yeah. So you don't even know what you're talking about. And Alec was saying that supposedly he's Scruncho's cousin. You know, Scruncho is. No. He opens for Mike F. So he was uh, the assistant pimp. And, um, yep. <laughs> <laughs> that thing? Is it? No, nah, it wasn't Friday. Um, fuck, what movie? I can't remember. What yeah, movie. I don't care but who it's like, you I was are. Like, I, that doesn't mean shit to Yeah, me. the moment you get on stage, your connections are gone. You better be funny, you know? Yeah. Like, I've seen, I'm sure you have too, I've seen, like, famous people, popular people go up, you know, and then bomb their dick off and then the rest of the comics after their set shake their hand and go hey good set man yeah. it's like hey shut the fuck up <laughs> hollywood bro i get so mad what and it's weird because a lot of times those people that bomb like they know they bombed you see it in their face when they get off stage yeah. and then they have to be nice to the other fake people that are like hey man good set and it's like i feel bad for that person now mm-hmm. it's like you're, you're in making a weird them spot very uncomfortable yeah yeah Cause then it's like, oh, just telling him, him to have a good set, or that he had a good set, and he had to be mean to me. It's like, well, yeah, he ate dick for fifteen minutes. It's not fun. <laughs> like, let him relax for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last night was one for the books. We'll say that. Nah, I mean uh, it was weird, but realistically, shit, shit I should have just done my fucking shit and left. You know. Yeah, but you know that, you know, like you, you know that there was a better way to approach that. But I, again, what you did instead was not out of line in any way. Right. Like it was still an acceptable action, but now with all the information, you should have handled it differently, but shit happens. But it's it's like one of those things where like you need to set a precedent. Like I knew it was going to go shitty for me. But it's like somebody has to know that they shouldn't be recording people and live streaming it to Facebook. Like, I don't want people to like I was specifically working on new material. I don't want that to be out there and people to think that, oh, that's what his comedy is like, because these aren't done. I didn't mean for anybody to really see these yet. Is there like a real world example? Because it's like it's hard to explain that to people who don't understand comedy, you know? Like, yeah, Louis C.K., is the perfect example. <laughs> but it's still comedy. Like, is there a blue-collar oh. equivalent to that? Like, it's not done yet. I can't show you. 
but people insist on seeing I don't it. Know, like do like people work on like architecture projects that are building the little things and like what if they get to like the first floor of a 30 store 30 story building and then somebody comes in with their camera and like hey let me let me take this and put it online maybe like somebody can like check you out or maybe somebody will like it and then like no no no, dude my boss though <laughs> you know like <laughs> i don't want my boss to see this yet like it's not done like i'm still kind of like working on the fine details yeah yeah and yeah. it's not even close to ready yeah so don't show anybody it's that simple yeah is that a good analogy it's good i was thinking along the lines not good enough apparently George. i was thinking more along the lines of well no it's not it wasn't mine <laughs> so <laughs> obviously like maybe if a teacher gives you a month to do a project and you know you have the whole project, like you have the whole month to do the project, but then one weekend he's like, all right, everyone present. Like everyone's like, no, 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 no. Is I, yeah. what? I, this is not even close to done. All right. That's a better analogy. <laughs> but yeah. And then the teacher and well, no, what's even worse, what would make it your situation is if the teacher was a substitute teacher <laughs> and went, all right, everyone present. And look, like, you don't you know don't, how this works. You don't get it. <laughs> you just got here. You can't be making demands. It's, just like, it's like the new student. It's like, can we, can we, can we do it today? It's like the yeah. new guy. It's like, Dude, shut the fuck up. This man. is why we kick the shit out of you every yeah. day recess is gonna be a long for you but yeah but somebody somebody has to show people that it's not okay to record other people when they don't want to be recorded and it wasn't even like a privacy thing like that's not what i'm worried. i don't give a fuck about that it's just like it's a professional thing yeah yeah. And it's just don't you, do it. You don't want a half ass work to be representative of you because there's no telling what's going to represent you once it hits the Internet. Yeah. And like even if it's agree. live stream that it's like it's temporary, whatever the fuck, dude, it's like I don't I just don't want that out there. See, I was I would bank more on the fact that uh, none of his 27 followers were going to see it. So. <laughs> I don't know who that dude was. It's again, it's the precedent. Yeah. It, it didn't matter who it was. That's fair. Yeah. No, I agree. And you just had the camera pointed right at me. It's like, bro, like, I, that's just it. <laughs> but it, below the neck, so it was still right. sneaky. <laughs> and it, like, it alters your headspace, too. Like, when you're telling a joke for the first time or, like, within, like, one through five times on stage, it's like you want to be a little more free. You don't want to have to worry about saying crazy or shit because, like, you're still just trying to formulate something. Yeah. And if somebody's filming you, and you're aware of it on top of that, it just, it fucks with your head. And you're not in, I'm not in the same creative space that I want to be. You want a creative safe space. I mean, that's kind of what Worthington's <sighs> is. That's that's what it, I've come to treat it as or view it as almost um, on a Monday is that like no one's there. You know that you can throw up any shit shit idea you came yeah. up with over the weekend exactly and it's not gonna go anywhere or it will and you can try it for real on tuesday but yeah. like monday is yeah especially in that space it seems odd to even want to record yeah <clears throat> and that's like i wasn't like you want to record your friend dude like that's fine like i don't give a shit about other people if they want if they cool with you recording then you can record them i don't care but don't record me i don't you don't even know me yeah we don't know each other that's not okay even if we did don't record me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. It's it's odd. And then they're like, why? Nobody, ain't nobody going to steal your jokes. It's like, bitch, I ain't even told a joke. You don't know how good they are. Yeah, whatever, no, dude. if you die, I'm stealing your jokes. I'll let you know right now. That's fine. You can have them. I'm going to use all, all my joke them. books are in my computer under a document called fucking jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's in just, just an Evernote. I also have notebooks. <laughs> so, Do you keep them? Um... I keep them for a while. My original notebook, like my very first one, I like. I went through it and I tore out the pages of the bits that I still liked. Uh, so it's just a, those. a front and back cover. <laughs> no pages yeah, in it. Leather, but no, <laughs> just loose pages. It's leather. It's like this big. I actually want to go back to a leather notebook. Those are sexy. Those are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. 
You know what I always wanted was one of those faggy com- com- composition notebooks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like the ones with the shitty spine that you can't really open all the way. I never understood why people use those. <laughs> like how inconvenient is this that it, when you open it, it just opens the first 20 pages by itself. <laughs> it's the worst kind of notebook. I don't know why. Because you... they're 80 cents. <laughs> they are. Dude, you, normal ones like 25 if you go the right time of year. Yeah, you're right. You can get, you stock up on those bitches. And if you get three of them, you, there's no way you use that many notebooks over the course of a year yeah F- fucking school supplies are, are real though like the struggle's real sometimes if you show up to class and you have like you know the 24 pack crayola but it's like fourth grade and next next door the kid has the 48 and then across the hall that kid has the 64 and then some white kid has the 160 there aren't even that many colors but <laughs> multiples yeah dude. they're fucking Backups. yeah they have blue rows it's not just like a blue it's a row of blue crayons it's ridiculous i like that but i was usually i would get that for my kid i was usually next to the kid with like the rose art crayons that would like melt in your hand if you held them too hard they're like fucking how is it that crayola has the far superior crayon they knocked it out of the park i bet they patented the wax mix and then and everyone else mm. went fuck <laughs> i was at work and i watched <clears throat> An episode of Mr. Rogers where they showed how crayons were made. It was very interesting. And that was back then. How are they made? How are they made? If you could give me Jesus, their... dude. I don't know like... what I don't know what they put in it together, but basically it starts as a liquid and they just like they add shit to it and it mixes and mixes and then they, they put it into this machine that just has tubes to like form the liquid and then it cools. They wipe the top of the machine of all the excess wax. Those move out, they get all get dropped into a, onto like a conveyor belt. I mean, the crayons made, and then you know it goes through the processes of fucking poor marketing, rapping. calling <laughs> car- crayons "tickle me pink" by Crayola. <laughs> you know what's funny is they put a sharpener on the back like it did anything. Like <laughs> yeah, that, it always got clogged in like the yeah. first couple of tries. Yeah, yeah it well, never. it's always because you let the retarded kid in your class use your sharpener with his rose art crayons, and, he and pushes you're like, "Too hard, hey man, <laughs> you gotta have soft hands, buddy." Yeah, and then you have some kid that's like, "No, it's a sharpener. I can use it for my pencils." Yeah, and it's like, "Dude, you have a mechanical pencil. What are you just fucking talking the, just about?" Just go to the pencil sharpener on the wall. Yeah, that's the way better one. Everybody yeah. knows that. Yeah, those and if you could, yeah, ones. if you could do it quick, you were the shit. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hands down. Those were the good ones. I had a teacher like specifically tell us for probably ten minutes, maybe in my kid brain it was ten minutes, but it was like, "Don't stick your finger in it," and then she would make us repeat it, and then she would say it again, and then we'd repeat it, and I guess it took ten minutes for our stupid class to understand it. Adequately, <laughs> that's so funny, dude. Though I've never seen that. I did see a kid like in kindergarten stick his finger in. You know how um, classroom doors have a hook on the wall to keep it open. Maybe this is just a '90s thing. Um, I mean, I know what you mean. Yeah. So, but, okay. on the door itself is like the hole, and I saw a kid stick his finger all the way in it during recess, and then get stuck there. <laughs> Okay. It made recess extra long, and it was a good day for the rest of us. <laughs> because the teacher that was on duty was our homeroom teacher, like because they would cycle. Yeah. So basically, they would dismiss everyone into class and oh stuff. But so she had to go get some soap and water, <laughs> while this kid just sat there with his finger in the door, crying. That's <laughs> and we're... soap and water is what. She... <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, and it worked. Yeah, it did. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny, dude! It was a good day. It was like a, a forty-five minute recess because <laughs> we, were, she was like, "Go, get out of here, go play." <laughs> like, <laughs> so we just kept playing. Oh my god, it was dope. Mm. Going to school in Hawaii was fun. Yeah, everyone's like, like, uh, my high school was dope. I wasn't popular or anything, but you probably had fat fingers. Huh? I wasn't bullied. Oh, yeah, I still have fat fingers, dude. Um, but I don't know. How was your school? <laughs> your elementary? Dude. You didn't have stupid kids? Oh, definitely. I grew up in Michigan, dude. Yeah. Hillbillies, man. This episode of Game Boys is brought to you by Laguna Motors. We make car buying easy. Why waste time with Craigslist clowns and sled lots with trailer offices? Buy with ease. Buy with confidence. Come down to beautiful South Orange County and buy from Laguna Motors. 
Follow us on Instagram at Laguna Motors or visit us at LagunaMotorsOC.com. That's LagunaMotorsOC.com. Willie Ding. What? Where you at? Two weeks from when we're recording this right now. October 29th at the Ontario Improv. Open mic night, 6 p.m., 5.30 sign-ups. You get three minutes. Come get that stage time. It's an early day, so you can come do that. Hit the hideaway later on that night. Or head out to L.A. if you're one of those people. Is there any more Tuesday mics out here? Just those, huh? The Shamrock. <clears throat> oh, Marietta. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can triple dip if you can. You got a Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it um if that's every week. I don't know how I'll, I'll, oh, how that works. I hear it's lit there. Yeah, I've been there a couple of times. It's pretty crazy. Nice. Um, and then November second at the Hideaway, of course, is our comedy drop-in hour. Yeah. I'll be there in some capacity. Uh, and then that night we start our gaming marathon. November second. 10 p.m. to November 3rd, 10 p.m. We will be gaming hard, making money for Children's Hospital Los Angeles by way of Extra Life for Kids. I think that's it for now. Dope. I'm not anywhere until November 3rd. November 3rd, I am at uh, Pasadena's famous Ice House. Uh, Stage 2 with Dave McNary. It's one of his uh, all-star Sunday shows. It's fun. I have a great time at, at the Ice House. It's one of my favorite places to do. I'm doing that show in December. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. I, I love that stage. I love knowing that people I listen to on podcasts and shit are there regularly. Yeah. That's cool. cool. That's, That's cool. cool. So uh, come check me out. Tickets are uh, 8 bucks at the door. Sunday, November 3rd. It's a 7 o'clock show. So it's pretty early. But it's a good time. Um, Dave always brings funny people so that's where i'll be uh, until then i am in the gym at open mics working bombing primarily uh, i've been bombing for a solid two and a half weeks now it's been uh, awful but new shit coming so new show new shit Welcome, listeners, to another episode of Game Boys. We're back. Uh, across from me, sitting, is my co-host, the very handsome, the very funny, Mr. William, Willie D. himself, Henderson. Good day. Good day, sir. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Why is Willie D. <laughs> European? Oh, my bad. What's up, y'all? <laughs> that, that sounded more... Ralphie May, but that sounds like a Willie D. Willie D is sounds like the cousin of Ralphie May. Yeah. This is my cousin. <laughs> I, I know that fat motherfucker. <laughs> and my cousin. We go way, way back. <laughs> oh no, I lost the article. I wanted to talk about um the PlayStation Five because we're uh we're right I'm there. I'm, we're I'm, right I'm, there. I'm glad that it's gonna be next holiday season because I feel like then I'll be able to afford it. Like if it was this year, I'd be. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I would wait though. I think I've explained this to you. It's like I usually wait the I'm first year. To. You can't. I'm not no, going to. Probably. Now that I know that it's next year, I'll you have had my PlayStation Four long no, enough. I'll no. still keep it. No. Actually, don't you know, be a pussy. George. If you have, well, I don't want to. Those those first gen woes has I know, hit but dude, every you, cons you every miss, console. You, you, mm, you miss so much. Stuff. Yeah, but then I get the Empire Strikes Back of all of games anyway. So, you know, even the developers have had time to iron out their video game issues. And so by the time I jump in at Call of Duty 19. Well, dude, 
I'll tell you what. While you're sitting here in your load screens, I'll be fucking. No, I'll be catching Pokemon on my Switch. Blazing playing. There's still gonna be load screens, babe. Yeah, but I'll on the Switch Lite, you mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a special edition <laughs> Switch Lite <laughs> with those one. do look dope. Though I saw them in Walmart the other day, I was like, whew, those look nice. That's what a PSP was supposed to look like. Yeah. They fucked up. Yeah, even though the PSP was a great uh, handheld, I enjoyed it very much. Yeah, but a disc. Yeah, 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 weird. yeah. It is weird, but that's kind of how are you gonna make a PlayStation product without a disc. You know, especially at that point. Like, that was pretty staple. I guess. The UMDs were everybody cool. Everybody was using discs, though. That's true. But no one was using them like Sony was. Those The disc cartridge? Like, wh- what did UMD stand for? I'm trying to remember. Oh, a universal media disc. Is it universal? Yeah. Yeah. Universal <laughs> across all of Sony. Across uh, across <laughs> UMD players, yeah. Across all PSPs, <laughs> it is universal. I don't see the problem. Dick. It's not like DVD. <laughs> Um, no, but I am excited for PlayStation Five, and I think if you have one, it's just gonna make me want to buy one. So yeah, I don't like. I Maybe might as well save We can get them the in bulk. We can buy them together. <laughs> we can give them away from as... Sam's Club. <laughs> what well, What would be the minimum item like quantity required to buy it at Sam's Club? You think like a know. pallet? No, they sell them by individually for sure. <laughs> that's how they make the most money. But you don't want you want that business to business discount. So how how many yeah. do you think? You have to ship so that you're not paying market, you know? Probably like 20. 20? I, yeah. I bet it's like 300. No. Yeah. I bet you have what to buy What if you're a small store? Dude, there's no way like a typical GameStop store has 300. That's why they're all closing down. No, they're closing down because digital games. Digital games really came out of nowhere. Kinda yeah. Like killing. But I still don't understand like who has that much space on their... I mean, I know you can get, like, hard drives, but it's, like, I just don't. We're too practical, but I think there are people with, like, multiple drives, mm. you know? Or they just keep buying the biggest one. They're like, oh, I need more space now. Where the, oh God, dude, I wish I was one of those people where, like, that's all I spent my money on. <laughs> and, like, all my time and, like, money was just spent on. You know what's crazy is when you spend money on storage, you're literally spending money on nothing. Yeah. It's dumb. Yeah. Well, thanks for putting that in perspective, <laughs> dude. <laughs> That's why, like, every time I see storage spaces, they're like, yeah. unit for rent. I'm like, or you could throw mm. some shit away. <laughs> like, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. You like, don't need it now. So, I cl- iCloud store, like, that shit is weird. Yeah. It's like, why can't you just do it for me? Though, if you are, like, a, a project manager or something and you do use your Mac and your phone, uh, the, the cloud does make sense because everything's accessible. I agree. Definitely. I like it. Uh, like, on my iPad, I have. Microsoft Office on and my computer as well, mm-hmm. and they actually sync up. Yeah, so I can. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, that's where uh, I think that's where Apple nailed it in terms of like just their strategy of making everything seamless. Yeah, actually, I think, I think that's a Microsoft thing. But they whatever. knocked it out of the park. But yeah, well, with a MacBook and like I'm talking Apple yeah. specific. Yeah, products. they they killed it, yeah. and that's that's part of the reason why it's so hard to get out of. the yeah. Apple products. Yeah, it is mm-hmm. a lifestyle change at that point. That's yeah. why. I don't know. Um, I'll probably get a cheap iPhone so I can go back. And then when I do that, I guarantee you my computer takes a shit. All right. I know we're supposed to talk about PlayStation, but we're oh, here. Yeah. I want a whoop strap. I really do. God damn it. I know. Hey, if you use code word sober October, you say 15%. I'm going to use code word two bears, one cave. Whatever, dude. Because that's my favorite podcast right now. I'm just letting you know <laughs> if you want to save money. And it, like, I don't want to. Are we getting them? I'll, I, mm, I'm close, it's dude. It's thirty dollars for a I, month. I know, it's but fine. okay. So what happens if you do the six months and then you stop paying? Does you just? Don't I'm sure get it's any, on auto renew. You just don't get any data though. Yeah. Well, I the the thirty dollars is okay for listeners who don't know. I don't know how you don't know if you're under a rock or something. But a whoop strap is a fitness tracker. It's a it's more of a data compiler. I have to re re. Uh, yeah. It 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 measures strain, reassign. not steps. Strain. Yeah. That's strain. What I read. Well, oh, it did, it also does measure steps. Well, it just you know. It goes so much <laughs> deeper than like a Fitbit. You what know? I'm interested in is like the sleep stuff. Mm-hmm. That's what I really want it for. I'm interested in the heart rate variability. Because I was sitting, at, where was I? I? I had a very specific, oh, I was in the in and out line, actually. Because <laughs> you have plenty of time to think there. Yeah. Um, 
I, I realized that like what I've always wanted from as like a kid was to treat my life like an RPG, like a Dungeons and Dragons character to have like a, a pie graph or a chart of like what my stats are. And this whoop strap does that. It literally gives you <laughs> your strain. It gives you your endurance, Reco- like hit points. Your, yeah. Recovery. No, it, absolutely. <laughs> and, and, it, and I was like, Oh, I never thought about it like that. Like, this is what I want. But my gripe with it is that it's it not a want time. Yeah. Like, that seems like an. I get it. It's douchey. Does it? Yeah. Feel then douche- it's just a wristband. Cause I'll be wearing. Cause I I will wear a watch. I'll be wearing a watch and a strap on the other on the yeah. other arm. Like that feels like too much. Like, it I'm feels not like Johnny too much. Depp. But at the same time, like you know, I'm gonna color coordinate them. Like I'm gonna get t- a black watch and a black band, and then a blue watch with a blue band. <laughs> like oh my god, you're gonna go <laughs> that far? See what they need are like add-ons. That's like a watch face. Yeah, you can just slip on the strap. Yeah. But I was also thinking that I do really enjoy like classic watches, like like I I enjoy manual analog yes, watches that aren't, that aren't digital at all. So I like it's your like, combo. Yeah, I'm still gonna end up wearing that watch. So maybe the whoop strap's not that big. I don't know. I really want one. Though. But like, do you wear your watch while you work out? Um, I guess it depends on the workout. But. I, I always think that, but then I'm like, well, the whoop straps for everything. It's not just for working out. Yeah. So yeah. it's like you have to, but the the free one is black. Yeah. I'm totally fine with that. So it, black goes with everything. He, my problem is that I don't want like too many accessories, dude. It's not too many. It's not, that's, that's not too many. That's not, it's never a problem. Really? You're no. Asian. No, you no, can no. Pull it off. Yeah. No, I'm just, stylish. I'm a white guy. I feel like, uh, <laughs> no, it's your fear of the accessories that, that that's true. makes it. You know what? I'm going to do it. Yeah. You're right. I need to fucking, I don't know. <laughs> Are you going to wear more accessories or you're going to buy a whoop strap? I'm going to wear more accessories. <laughs> <laughs> Necklaces. Uh, it's it's experimental. You know, it's fun. It's I was scared of watches until I started to wear them. Mm. And then I was like, oh, no, this makes sense. You you know, it doesn't make sense. I'm going to tell you now. But for a long time, I never wore hats. I hate hats. But I, I thought I hated hats, too, because I thought I didn't look good in them. Oh. But now it's. Everyone's like, what's under your hat? And I'm like, a fucking I, bird, asshole. I objectively don't look good in hats. <laughs> so there's no question. Maybe you just have to find the right style of hat. Have you tried them all? Because I feel like you've only worn ball caps and maybe I feel a like I need 5150. A stovetop hat. <laughs> <laughs> Not a worn one, but Morning, like lads. Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Full on, like a foot tall. No, I think there is a, a hat style for everyone because it yeah. is. Yeah, it's fine. But I guess you do shave your head, so it's like yeah. a hat. Accessorizing stops at like your but, eyebrows. But it's kind of smart because like to wear a hat because protection, you know. Yeah. So overall, less sun damage from the sun. I should wear a cowboy hat. Yeah, I mean, people do that. I see people coming to that's Black Angus th- all the time but in cowboy hats. The thing and it is, me I off. think that what would look good on me isn't something I would want to wear. Mm. That's my fear. <laughs> yeah okay until your girlfriend goes damn babe you look good then that becomes all you wear and, and like, i'm wearing a fucking <laughs> rattlesnake hat and shit you can't help what you look good in <laughs> you're taking your trader role uh, to for real I, yeah i'm not gonna do that mm. dude like there's a point where it's just like all right is 30 dollars too fashion. much for a whoop strap i mean for a month we'll, we'll give it we'll, a shot for we'll, a month this month's almost over wait so I'm well, saying, like, I don't know if you went on the site at all, but you won't get it till November. They're not. They're oh, yeah, so they're backed not up setting, right now. Selling out till uh, the 28th. The 28th they're not yeah. even shipping till the yeah, 28th. They're so backed up, probably because of fucking Joe Rogan. Yeah, that's <sighs> the. Pro- I don't want to look like a poser, but it's like it's something that I'll, I'll use. Yeah. What a '90s word. <laughs> I don't want to look like a poser, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. Fuck it. I like it. I'm gonna probably buy it you have to do the six month thing no, the, no, yeah, no no yeah you have to do six month commitment no, no yes i don't want to you have to i don't want That's to the, you have but to it's, it's it's 30 dollars to start though right yeah, yeah so then you put it on a fucking all right don't do this but you put, <laughs> you put it on a prepaid visa card uh-huh. and then you only put 30 dollars on it. but then you can't get the data after that yeah but maybe so i didn't use the data for the month if i did then i then switch it over to my debit card and it's like all right cool let's do this so you're not even going to use it for the full, like you have no well, intention of using it for Well, here's the thing with like months. fitness pro- things that I 
I have. It's like I always tell myself that I'm going to use it, that yeah. I, I'm so gung-ho, and I believe myself, and then I download it, and I don't. Mm. Like I did the the uh, RunKeeper Pro version for a little while. Oh. The, like you get nine free days or what more, does it do? more than a week. It gives you um, basically all of the data that it compiles on you. So your your maps, your your strides, your your pace, your weight, everything, every mm. everything that could be tracked with an app in your pocket, it it breaks it down for you. But for the nine days that I had it, I didn't use it. But mm. when I was buying it i was like oh that's so dope i'm gonna fix my stride like i'll work on my run form and i could but i didn't so so what do you do you think the whoop shot would be different for you i think it's more of a passive thing you know like i all i have to do is wear it they're giving me the data and it's like i can you can check it whenever you want yeah so it's it's more of um like a, a lifestyle thing i don't know but i may or may not again put it on a visa gift card and they don't know they're not like know. hey this is a not a I don't real know. it's this wouldn't be the first time i've done something like this the fraudulent motherfucker yeah dude times is hard okay i'm over here sure. <laughs> cooking ramen and shit so i mean 180 dollars essentially is what you're paying for mm-hmm. This. Mm-hmm. which is still less than an apple watch still about but the... un- unless you keep using it what do you mean and then it's thirty dollars every month. Yeah, but then you're paying for the service at that point, which I get thirty dollars just to know how well you sleep. That's the part. Like, okay, the hundred eighty dollars for the first six months for the strap. Okay, it's a free, for quote unquote, free strap. All right, but then I'm paying thirty dollars a month just for you to upload my like. That seems excessive, don't you think? No, I, I feel don't. like once you pay off the strap. The price of per month should go down. Otherwise, like I'm not paying for anything well, no, I, physical. The the strap itself, I would say, is probably not the highest of quality in terms of like it's the, the like, it's the tech part though, dude. But it's got all. But the, all it is 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 sensors. Whereas like yeah. it, the moment. Oh you hey, put, do you know how to make a sensor, dude? <laughs> but I was gonna say the moment you put a, something make digital a on it, like a watch face. What is on a it, sensor? It you know they can't give it to you for free now. So it's like I bet thirty dollars. Yeah, not for free, but for cheaper. I get like I paid for the strap. Thirty dollars a month, hundred eighty dollars. That seems reasonable for that technology. That's because you're and valuing. At, but your, I pay your this risk. off. That's because your your service is not tangible. It doesn't count as money in your head. Like they're still compiling data, feeding you probably that's proprietary. Algorithm. There's algorithm. no there's no person that's sitting behind a right, computer typing right. in but your But there was research and development to create this algorithm that I'm sure they patented and so that you that's what you're paying for. You're not paying for the mm. use of their thirty dollar mm. strap. You're paying for I, the four and a half years of research I'll and fuck, development. I fucking tell you what, George, I'll try it for six months and if I don't like it, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like most things in life? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm going to do exactly what I would have done anyway. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> Fuck it. We're getting off topic. All right. I I'm think just, we're going to do it. I'm though. pretty sure we just talked ourselves into it. Yeah. You tried to talk me out at the end. I was going to. I sense. was just going to do it. But like the three dollars a month. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's I, I. That doesn't seem like it's as fun without participating with someone, though. Yeah, like to see to have not necessarily a baseline, but just let's like all waste money together. Where what where your fitness level stands in your general friend group? You know what? I was on a hike the other day, and I realized I wanted to do the Spartan race again. Uh, oh, you missed it, didn't you? I'm too poor. Mm, that's sad. Yeah, I mean, it's not like they happen. They happen all year. <laughs> we can pick one in like June if we wanted to do one. And they I have to do one of those stadium ones. The stadium one or the trail runs. Like they have oh, those yeah, in the middle of the that. year when it's not summer. Like they have those going on around here. I'm down for that. Yeah, that'd be fucking dope. Why do you, cool. why didn't doing a hike make you want to do Cuz it was just like being it just felt like cuz it was out in the like out by Mount Baldy out there and it just reminded me of like running through those hills on those paths and shit and I was like that was pretty dope. It was dope when very, it was done. I felt very accomplished. I was very proud of myself. For sure. I definitely held that high for at least a week of yeah. like, that's, oh, I did this. Yeah. I did that. Yeah. And yeah. I didn't bitch out on any um, 
what are they called? I've I've blocked it out of my brain. I forget what they're called. Oh, burpees. Burpees. <laughs> <laughs> You're over here. I'm like, dance? What are you doing? <laughs> dance, dance. Um, I didn't bitch out on any burpees, Alec Damani. <laughs> he doesn't listen to our podcast. Fucking, yeah. Um, those the uh, everyday call out burpees um are those suck. Those are the worst, yeah. Because you wake up, you're like, I'm having a great month. Fuck! I am, I am excited to call out your bitch asses at the end of this month. <laughs> I'm going to start just like leaving food around for you or just nah. be like, hey, man, do you want some? Nah, I, ha- I have kidding. control when it comes to, to having to fill up other people's gas tanks. <laughs> fuck that. I'm not doing that. Hey, Aaron Chase, get him drunk and feed him. <laughs> nah. What are you guys drinking when you do your podcast? Uh, rum and soda. Mm. So it's not keto, bro. No, it's not. I don't even think rum is keto. Rum's made out of sugar. I mean, you can have more. It depends on your intake for the day. Kind of. Yeah. Because, I mean, I feel like the keto baseline of like. I did get a keto app. Nice. Nice. And I was over on carbs yesterday. Oh. Um, I I was going to say. Peanuts will fuck you up. They will fuck you up. Yeah. But But they're so good. But you can still eat them, just not that many. Yeah, Yeah. 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 Or you can go for a run. Does that your body the- your body uses carbohydrates as its pri- like glucose yeah. is your primary fuel source. But and like when you're carbs. when you're in keto, it then burns fat because <clears throat> it has no carbs to burn. Right? Isn't that kind of the as idea? far as I understand? Because you're, you're still gonna intake carbs during the yeah. day. Um, as far as I know, because I'm stupid. Um, your body your body's baseline becomes ketosis. So like your rest when you're resting, your body's using its fat to metabolize but when chemicals. you're doing things but it's using the carbs that you yeah it still okay. goes through the same process of like all right let's use up all the glucose once we're there we'll use up all the ketones once we're there we use up all the fat kind of thing like um so, so that's why I like when i feel hungry i'm just like just just let it go like it's just like my body like eating my fat <laughs> i'm such a food addict it. though it's <clears throat> I, I i get hangry yeah. And I don't realize it. And then yeah. I eat something and I'm like, oh, I'm such a fucking dick just now for no reason. <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, I'm that way too. <laughs> but I feel like I'm more like that like when I'm just eating shitty. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. you have an addiction. Yeah. And, you have a problem. and when you're keto, it's like you, there's no cravings I can't anymore, eat anything anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I, yeah, the amount of shit that you can't eat is so annoying though. Nothing. But. I don't know. Like keto on its own, like strict keto. I I don't know if it's sustainable. I think in, it's something that needs to be like intermittent worked into your life, kind of. Because like, yeah, I I've decided I'm not doing. How many days do we have? Uh, two weeks. Couple more weeks. Yeah, I'm not doing any more cheat days this month because mm-hmm. it sets me back. That's a good call. Um, but once we once we get out of this, I'm gonna try to stay keto. Mm-hmm. But I'll probably do like cheap meals throughout the week like maybe like three or four for like dinner or something yeah, yeah. especially with if, a you, girlfriend. if you went running or something yeah or if you yeah. went to the gym that's another thing i need to do is go and get into the gym start doing some cycling or shit yeah i think i need climbs. to i need to up it i think five miles needs to be my minimum now because three like i can do three it's not difficult my heart rate gets like 140 if that mm. well at least like i check my heart rate at the end that's why mm. and it's usually around 140 if you had a whoop strap you wouldn't have to check it at all I know, that's the, uh, <laughs> dude you i could would check have it, it the while whole you're time. running dude. i would have it the whole time and that would be amazing you could just put on your fucking i'd put on like a, a headset that has like my phone in front of me so i could just check my data <laughs> as i go That'd it's gonna great. you're gonna look like a uh, Dragon Ball Z dude with like a scouter on your face and just a, a feed in front of one <laughs> eye. That's what I want, dude. That's That'd what Google dope. Glasses should have been. That's what they should have been. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We would have all bought them. I would. I would have bought it immediately. That would have been so dope. Yeah. So again, somebody getting needs off to topic. figure that out. Yeah. Oh, PS5 specs. PlayStation Go. 5 specs. Um. Well, no. Th- it's I officially want... the PS5. We said that last time. Yeah. You said it last time. You're, you're over here digging up news for the PlayStation. Like we needed to you've say it. You already bought. <laughs> yeah, really? What is it going to be called? <laughs> Fuck you. How about that's what it's called? Like, like if it was Xbox, we're like, we don't know. Yeah. But P- uh, yeah, we know. We fucking know. And it, unless it was like a mobile, uh, mobile device again, like. Oh yeah. But it. But wasn't. even then, but it wasn't. I mean, even then, the, <laughs> PS, the, the mini, PSP, PS5 Mini, <laughs> the PSP is a PS2 logo missing one line. So that's, that's all it is. <laughs> well, what's the next one going to be? PSD. Fucking, I don't know. PS3D. 
They Ooh. can't steal that from Nintendo, though. No, 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 they can't. All right, so right off the top, PS5, PS4, we're, we're kind of going to do them back-to-back. Um, the uh, the PlayStation Sony, I guess, uses AMD card um, cards and processors. So uh, the PlayStation 4 is using something called uh, Jaguar, AMD's core processors of Jaguar. The, they're two four cores with a total of eight cores, and... Um, hmm. They're hyper threaded. So, right now the PlayStation Four is running eight cords, sixteen threads. But uh, bro, this could run WoW so well. It, was just it no could. Dude, well, it, it, would, it, it would run it like crazy. I think that's the point, though. Yeah. Like yeah. everyone talks shit about like consoles not having the power, but it's like, oh no, they, no, they have the power. They have it now. They mm-hmm. have the power. Yeah, definitely. Um, b- but the uh, the Jaguar is on the slower end of AMD's chipsets. Uh, Because it clocks at 1.6, whereas, like, the PS4 Pro, which came out, what, a year after first gen, maybe, uh, ran a Jaguar that ran at 2.13. So it's, like, twice the speed in a year. Um, I think it was just unfortunate timing, because I was reading that AMD hadn't really, like, had their comeback story that they have now when the PS4 came out. Because the PS4 been out for some time now <laughs> yeah dude it has been a while same with like the three or the one yeah I don't, I don't know why i go to the 360 but yeah it seems i don't know it's weird it seems like consoles used to come out more frequently yeah but but it makes sense i guess especially with the subscription base um games that are coming out to squeeze as much as you can out of one yeah. machine yeah you know that just makes the most sense so it's cool i i enjoy it because i mean you know, the PS4 has been out, but I use it every day. Oh, yeah. You know? And I'm satisfied with it. Yeah, definitely. So, it's, it's great. The um, PS5, however, is they're still sticking with AMDs. They're not using Jaguars anymore. They're using Ryzen cores. Um, oh, fuck. So, yeah, like, at this point, it's they don't even know how fast it's going to be. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, they're waiting for, like, Ryzen to kind of finish its line, I think. I think. Oh, they're gonna be fresh. Yeah, they're they're trying to come out swinging. <laughs> Damn, dude. Sony's gonna come out big um, dick swinging, yeah. dude. It's still gonna be multi a uh, hyper threaded core because like you what have to. What does that mean? Uh, so a core like a a core can handle one command line of processes at a time. So one core, single thread, one process at a time. Um, two cores two process so most cores one process at a time when it's hyper threaded it can do two. Oh fuck yeah so, so it's just processing code like a motherfucker basically yeah so all, what, and it all at the same time whoop, at the same time so, whoop, so right now the ps4 dude, is, is multi-threaded you know? yeah so fucking crazy. think about if you could like okay this is gonna get nerdy for a second so uh suit it's iron. like <laughs> it's like having four people Talk to you and being able to take in that kind of, that, yes. that information all at the same time. Yes, yes, yes. Fuck, that's crazy. Um, people say Iron Man don't have a superpower, and I disagree. And it's the fact that he can like multitask better than anyone else. Like hmm. he can do nine hundred different things. Like his ba- brain is hyper threaded. He can do more things at one time than anyone else in the world can, which is why he can control control a suit that shoots everything and does everything and problem solves because he's in control. Um, that's what these cores are. Basically, that's insane. you can do sixteen things at a time <laughs> um, at at potentially three point one oh gigahertz a second. Oh my god, dude! So it's like you could time travel with a PlayStation Five, <laughs> basically. Somebody, they're gonna turn on the first PlayStation, the com- first commercial PlayStation Five, just gonna open a black <laughs> hole. <laughs> it's good. That's what happened in Fortnite. Um, <laughs> Way to segue into our next topic. Well, we're not done, Kinda. but we'll, we'll we'll hint it. The uh, the graphics, um, PlayStation has used uh, what I guess the industry is termed an APU instead. It's a CPU from AMD, but like it's not a phrase that's been used by Sony. I guess it's an industry term, which is weird. Hmm. You know, just use what Sony calls it. But whatever. Um, I don't write. <laughs> uh, they're coming out with. The way Sto- Sony explained it is that they ha- they're taking two different cards and they're making it into an integrated graphics chip. So in terms of a price tag on the graphics card, we're looking at like a power you'd expect from somewhere anywhere from $350 to $500 graphics card. Oh, my. 
So extrapolate that information, put it into a console that's also... I don't know why you need that much, but I feel like that's what I said about the you, PlayStation. Well, you kind of need to... At this point, you can, they kind of have to push it that far. Yeah, I guess. Or else people aren't going to buy and it. And you can't squeeze it for longevity either. Um, what's good is that the... Uh, the the standard tracking let me find out what they're calling it the the you know when you you have like a, a vision cone in in digital gaming and it's what is that called ray casting you know what ray casting is it's basically um imagine a flashlight like you're holding a flashlight in a dark room and then it renders the room just in that flashlight okay. cone and that's how most <laughs> games work that's how games have worked since like doom you know the original Doom okay. is ray casting. Uh, what this pro- these processes processors are going to be capable of is co- something called ray tracing. So instead of render, well, I guess it's not rendered. Instead of caching the room so that you can render it immediately, what it does is it it caches the cone so that it renders everything that like it traces light as like a pixel and will then render three D imaging on that so it's got the cast and then the render so that's where the hyper threading comes in so that you can get better textures something more along the lines of a red dead than um you know any first person shooter like call of duty so that you'll have better textures you'll have um hyper realistic water and this machine's going to be capable of that out of the box Hmm. with basically every game interesting so I mean, they're kind of pushing developers to use that technology instead, but it is a taxing technology to use in a game where now you're going to sacrifice other things like control and other things that need to be rendered behind the scenes. But we'll see. It's going to look dope as fuck. Yeah. Like, like <laughs> oh, it's going to look so good. Yeah. I'm excited. It's going to be, what did you call it? Like, it's, it's going to look too clear. Yeah. Like, like 4K. Yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's going to look too good. <clears throat> Um, good. That's what we've been waiting for. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Put put that too good into an Oculus and let's have a fucking grand time. Let's do it, man. Down. I want. That's what I want from next gen, though. I want more uh, VR games, more VR, more experiences. practical VR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something more fun. Give me fucking. I need just like glasses. The whole headset thing it gotta go. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You gotta figure it out. It's weird. <clears throat> um. It's gotta go. It's gotta be like. Ready Player One. Then you just fucking put glasses on and it just closes it out. I think it, it's going to have to be glasses that project onto your eyeball. And I don't know how safe that is. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> You're like, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> um, we we're getting a solid state drive out of the box for the PlayStation 5, which is, I mean, we Obviously, expected that. Yeah. It's just going to be quicker. Um, then what uh, IGN was talking about their controllers, but we kind of went into a into depth about the uh, the trigger tension and vi- uh, variable vibrations yeah. and stuff. So if you guys missed that talk, well, check out the other podcast yep. episode of um, everything else. I am excited for that controller, though, uh, because the little speaker on the one on the PS4, on the DS4, is, it's not a game changer, but it's so much extra. It's, it's so, so cool. cool. It's so cool. Um, but when you're not expecting it and then it just like something happens. Like, oh, oh, yeah. Shit. All right. Yeah, like I was playing um, The Last of Us, and occasionally your flashlight dies, so you got to shake your controller to, oh, word? to make it come back like oh, a battery. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's super dope. So I need to download that so I have it. It's fun. Yeah, I, yeah, I recommend it. It's cool. Um, I need to finish God of War, though, too. I played it a little bit yesterday. Nice. But I played that game for like two hours, and I'm like, I don't feel like I got anywhere. Mm. It's like one of those. So. I can see that. Yeah. The Last of Us kind of like that anyway. Yeah, but it's rare. I like those games. Yeah, yeah, I like I like those games though. Like I'm still excited for the new Star Wars game. I'll play it. Yeah, or watch you play it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that might be it. It still looks fun. It'll it'll be a good experience, but it those, and it's those, canon. It's canon. It's not just oh fucking, yeah. yeah. And those kind of games though, like you play them once and you're like, all right, well, I'm not gonna do that again because it's not gonna be any different. Whereas like yeah. Red Dead, I'm like, well, I'll play this again. Like I could play it differently. That's how I felt about the Joker movie. I was like, I can watch it once. I don't have to watch it again now. I haven't seen it yet. I would like to. So that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's good. Movie. Um, so 
Is that all for the PS5? Yeah, yeah. I mean, as much as could be released. I mean, yeah. we got specs, and we know it's going to come out next holiday season. It's going to be fast. It's going to look good. The only thing I'm um, wondering about is like what it looks like. Because um, all the concepts online that people have drawn up are so ugly. Everything that people think it's going to be is so ugly. Yeah. There's never been a leak that was like, ha, told you I was right. Yeah, no, <laughs> never. <laughs> There's one. There's one that has the PS5 like shaped like a U. It looks like a fucking console from the 80s, dude. Dumb. It looks like it could be like made by Sega. Dumb. It, they should it just make terrible. it like a um, like a an iMac, just a square, like just a, a walk box. Man. You just put on your thing. What if it was just old Walkman? <laughs> <laughs> pop it open. That'd be dope. Like we just reuse these. That's just, retro <laughs> enough. That would yeah. be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you could fit all the hardware in there. No, but they would make like. Instead of it accepting cassettes, I bet they would have solid state drives, like a memory card. That'd be cool. So you can... Yeah, yeah do you think they'll get away from the disc? What if they do digital only? I don't know. Nobody's talked about that. Yeah. They haven't talked about the medium that the games will be on, but the... we assume there will be discs because, like you were saying, PlayStation, that's a staple. Yeah. Kinda, but... The disc is almost, I feel like, a, almost a security thing, too. Like, you can't play it without the disc now. Like, mm. So it's like it's harder to steal it. You know, yeah. so it, it, it might stay there just as, until someone figures out a way like, oh, we could do that, too. Let's fucking copy. Like, I mean, it's not difficult. until they give like free cloud storage for all my games. I'll still want to buy some physical copies. But I do like to be the the ability to just transition between games with like, yeah, just boop. Doo, 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 doo. They now should add that game. to you the year like your playstation plus be like hey you can have yeah. playstation plus this is your thing but if you get playstation plus pro plus pro, plus plus if you get play, playstation times if you get playstation squared there you go um <laughs> for twenty dollars a month unlimited storage that's a bit much i think i would rather just get an external unlimited storage because i don't get I that think, many games anyway but do you think it's because you don't have the space for it or because you don't want to play it? But um, Because I don't want to play it for the most part. Oh, okay. If I want a game, I'll fucking, I'll find space. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I, I just deleted Wipeout off my system last night. You How know? dare so you? Like, How dare you? Hey, wasn't playing it. <laughs> and I'd rather have a better racing game. Yeah. So we need to get a Need for Speed game. Yeah, I've been watching like Need for Speed Underground videos. Really? Shit. <laughs> Like yesterday during the mic, I was like, I need to stop. I should pay attention to this show. I missed like three pictures because I was watching video games. Sh- like, because I was researching the, the Fortnite thing yeah. and then <laughs> I kept running into videos like, oh, that looks dope. Yeah. <laughs> Can't help it. Yeah. So, speaking of Fortnite, do you want to explain um, what I, happened? How about you explain what happened because you looked into it as well? All right. So, so, Fortnite has seasons that they run in <clears throat> in which, you know, you get different items each season as you play like as you get xp you progress through season ranks and you get all the stuff in there and at the end of each season um they they kind of make something new for the next season so like season i think seven had like they introduced like a snow part with like in they added planes like they're doing a really good job with it i have to give it to epic games they're kind of killing it I agree. Um, they knocked it out of the park with the subscription model of, yeah. of seasons and, and the free to play game. And Red Dead actually is doing like the same thing as them, but smarter because they're using the in game currency. <laughs> so like oh, people yeah. that don't want to pay for it can still get it. Um so coming up on the end of season ten, there were rumors and leaks of a new map. For the game, so like come season eleven, there was gonna Which be was a kind new of map. Like it wasn't news, right? No, no, it was pretty pretty well known. Yeah, uh, like everyone, is like anybody like, that was like privy to the game, I guess would know this. Um, but you know, a lot of people wouldn't. I think. So, what happened at the end of season ten? On like the uh, they they did like a countdown timer. Yeah, it was an event. On the it 13th. was an event, and when it hit zero, the world just collapsed in on itself, and all these people like got sucked into a black hole, and then the game just shut down. 
Which is so fucking Which funny, Which is dude. great. So, so funny, good. man. So good. It's just like, what a great troll. Because you know people were so pissed. Livid. I, how many monitors were broken? Too many. It's too too s- many. Best Buy is fucking lit right now. It looks like <laughs> Black Friday. Like... <laughs> Do you think Epic Games sent them a memo? They're like, hey, guys, we're going to shut down Fortnite <laughs> oh, for a I while. Th- they should have. That was fucking. So you might get an influx yeah. of people buying new TVs and monitors because for sure people got so pissed that they couldn't play Fortnite. Yeah. Apple Care, just for people yeah. throwing their phone. <laughs> but it's um, it's uh, but it's like scheduled like downtime, it's like server downtime. So like it wasn't that crazy, but it just wasn't like I don't think they like announced it really. Um, but you also couldn't play like the single player mode or like you couldn't do anything. Yeah. Like, cause, so they made it seem like the world the, was, the over. game was shutting down, which yeah. if you're any kind of intelligent, you can be like, they're making too much money to just shut it down. That's fucking stupid. See, and that, but that's the point. Pro- I can't talk today. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was my favorite part of like the whole thing is that everyone streamers included were like expecting the world to end reset. This is what we're like for it to the event to happen. Something ha- yeah. else happens and then we can keep playing. Right. Nobody right. was like, nope. we're just going to shut this down all day. <laughs> Dude, so, yeah. And then, like yesterday I went to one of the homes I work in and the kids were like, is, 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 uh, is Fortnite working again? And they logged on. Nope. Just the yeah. black hole. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a you bunch of little crackheads. Yeah, dude. A little cra- you just take it away. Yeah. Just, oh, it was amazing though. I love yeah. it. Oh, great troll. <laughs> great troll. <laughs> It's they, like they Epic Games is like, all right, guys, go outside for a Seriously, day, you fucking dude. stupid. Seriously. But again, it makes sense, though. Like, you, it's a game. Fortnite, I tried to talk about it yesterday. I just, it just bothered me because I I cannot get it. I don't get it. And Dude, it's like, I, I think a lot of, it's the cosmetic part that people like. Um, It's also the competitive part. Yeah, and it's also free. Yeah. For, yeah. Kind of <laughs> microtransaction. Yeah, <laughs> I should use finger quotes free. Yeah, if you want the cool, that's the thing is like if you play it free, it's not fun because you don't get stuff. You don't like earn like like I was saying like the season ranks. You have to purchase like the outlaw pass like yeah. for Red Dead, <clears throat> and then you yeah. get all this extra stuff. I mean, at least oh, on that Red was Dead, another you get thing more. they announced with the next. I just I'm getting ahead of myself. Never mind. No, go ahead. No, I was just gonna talk about the next iteration of of Fortnite, but we're still talking about the event. Oh, I, I <laughs> did you watch it? Did you watch anyone? Like, did you see what happened? No, I just, I just read about it. Oh, I watched it. it I, I had to. I wanted to watch a streamer because they didn't know. You know, no one expected it was just going to be off. So I watched a streamer like wa- watch the countdown, and then he sat there for like eight extra minutes, going, "Is is that it? Is, <laughs> I can't, I can't press escape. I." That's so funny. It looks like the colors are changing. Is it on an infinite loop for like? Oh my god! Way longer. <laughs> and it, it was just. A, is it just a still? Yeah. No. 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 It's it, it's it, it's an image. Okay. It's not a gif because yeah. it doesn't really repeat because um it it's been changing. You know, oh. I don't know if you if you know kept up. I did keep not up really. with it. Um, You've so been making sketches in yeah. your book. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, no. I have string. There's string like, in this. Like Arthur Morgan, <laughs> <laughs> you're making sketches. This is a nice crick. Um, so what, what popped up overnight, this is what I saw this morning, um, and right at the end of the night, uh, the Konami code, if you pop that in, you know, up, down, up, down. Yes. Uh, yeah, I yeah, heard yeah. about this. You get to play a little mini game yeah. on that black hole thing. Um, God, way to keep people like fucking yeah, like, hooked addicted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You don't want to go outside. Fine. We'll give you this. They went straight <laughs> Cloverfield with this. Like, cause I guess a uh, midway through like the day numbers started popping up on the screen and mm-hmm. everyone, everyone, it was all lost. Like, what the fuck is going on? What do these numbers mean? <laughs> Fucking rockets and shit. It just means nothing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I guess it ended up being like, a, they, it ended up leading to like a trailer for um, what's now being called uh, Fortnite Chapter 2. They're going to start charging. They're going to, there's something, something's going to change. They're going to change their model. They mm-hmm. have, they, I think they're going to do something different. I think they're just trying to get more players. It's, that's what it, it, it seems like. <sighs> it's fucking working. Yeah. I think I might get in. I might try it. It's, this We're going to get in together, dude. Duos. We can go. What if we could start, what if we became famous Fortnite streamers? No, we won't, but it could be fun. 
We could try. Yeah, no, Fortnite's not fun by yourself. Either. No, it's That's, not. You definitely have to play with people, which makes yeah. uh, that means I got to go buy a headset, a real headset. Yeah, dude, time. you've been saying that for like I six I'll months. I'll go. I, I live right next to it. <laughs> no, it's There's right no there. reason to not. It is I'm not just expensive. Lazy. Um, so yeah, those numbers ended up leading to a link to a trailer, and the trailers got a lot of uh, announcements. Um, first off, boats. There's no boats in Fortnite, so right. you're gonna be get, be able to get around on boats. It's gonna be battle warfare on 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 the open seas you can be able to that shoot at each cool. other that'll be fun um i love how they're progressing like i don't i'm not a huge fan of fortnite but i i definitely respect like their i don't want, i don't know about their drive but like the like they keep they innovating. don't stop yeah yeah, yeah, they, yeah yeah nothing stops like they're and their use of like they'll be like they have their creative mode in the game and then people go in create shit and they're like that's dope we're gonna use that for real <laughs> like that's really cool yeah so I really like what they're doing with it. Yeah. Um and with this chapter 2 reboot, like I might I might hop in. I might give it a shot. Do you want to pay for it, dude? Get the fucking season pass? We'll see. If again, th- I treat it's most not that much. I treat most games like I do like fitness apps. Like I'll see if I'm going to play it. If I will, yeah. I might fork up some cash, but if not then right. I was going to pay for Red Dead Online. I was going to buy that Outlaw Pass, just buy like 20 gold bars or mm-hmm. some shit. I got close. And but and then I realized I didn't have to. I was like, oh, I can just keep doing your dailies. Yeah. Yeah. I get half a gold bar for each one I do now. Dope. Yeah. So it's like you do four of them, that's two gold bars every yeah. day. Saves you so much money. Yeah. Including like the the roll dailies. Oh, yeah. I always forget about those. And then it pops. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. I like those. <laughs> those are fun. Club rank up. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. I don't get those anymore because I'm at the max. Oh, so yeah. So I'm very bored. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I don't get any cool <laughs> shit anymore. That's. That's why I'm like saving. I have like 45 gold bars now because I'm just waiting for the next outlaw pass mm. so I can buy it so I can get more yeah. shit. But anyway. Anyway, Fortnite, chapter yeah. two, uh, boats. Um, instead of, like you were saying earlier, like you have to purchase per season to like rank up per season and everything, um, they're doing it by medals now. So similar to like a like Red Dead where like you just earn while playing so that you're not technically required to buy. Oh, things. perfect. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they learned um, from Rockstar. Way to yeah. go, Rockstar. At least that's what it seems like from the trailer. Um, okay, you know? I'll have to watch it. I'll have to check yeah. it out. Uh, there's fishing if you're more of a leisure player, you know, because oh. I'm, I'm sure you can be able to fish in the creative. Oh my mode god, kind of so cute! I love it. <laughs> they I are love learning fishing. from Rockstar. They are actually <laughs> Rockstar learning from WoW. Let's that, be real. Yeah, we fish. Uh, you'll finally be able to swim. I guess you couldn't swim before, which I fucking hate. I hate games where you can't swim. It's like one. I'm a mythical creature. Two, I'm not black. I should be able to swim. It was a weird... How the fuck did it work? It was a weird thing. You could go through. It's not like you died. It was like... I don't know. You could like jump through it. It was weird. I don't, mm. re- I don't really remember. But that's interesting. Yeah. But yeah. I guess they had to code in a whole aquatic environment so that you could have water battles. So you, you, know, so like, you could shoot Oh, right, right, right. On I the water. They do under, underwater. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> there has to be underwater weapons. Yeah. There would be spears and shit. Yeah. Oh, could you imagine a going harpoon? up going up with one of those hand spears? Those have you ever gone spear fishing with like a hand spear? Do you know what I'm talking about? Have I ever I don't gone... know. You guys live by lakes and shit. We don't go spear uh, fishing. It's okay. not clear enough it's to like, go spear it's fishing. It's a spear that it's a, uh, at the hand at the the handle end is a rubber band. <laughs> Like a thick rubber band, so you stretch it into your hand, and you grab like near the front of the spear, so it's loaded, and you stick it into a reef, and you just let it go. That's and, dope as fuck. Yeah, and so the the um <coughs> the prongs, it's usually there's usually three prongs, so when it lets out, it goes into the fish <laughs> and then expands, expands so that you can pull it back. That's so cool. So that should be a Fortnite weapon. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Do you mean I would be I would rage quit if I was swimming and someone went. And then like pulled silently. you in. Oh, dragged you. <laughs> Reeled you in. Yeah. Um, oh, another mechanic is you're going to be able to carry your teammates now. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So Very be, interesting, actually. That's yeah. weird. Because now, like, you might be able to get quads easy. You know, two people carrying their teammates. Pop, pop. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. I wonder, why would you want to carry your teammate? Move them. If they're you know, down. It, 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 it does add a different mechanic because now it turns into, like, a, you have to... It, forces gameplay if you have to go get someone you mm-hmm. know and you have to pick them up like it'll move things it, dude i'll be so mad if i'm like shooting 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 and then someone just comes and snags me and starts moving me like no no stop it <laughs> like I'd i almost so, got him i feel so violated <laughs> but that looks cool swept me off my feet that looks cool it's like um, yeah, 
Interesting. Some, uh, you know, some shooting games you have to drag your enemy before you can like heal them and stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've ever played. It's dumb, and I never play those games again. But <laughs> yo, I feel game- like Battlefield yeah. should develop a carry. <laughs> like, if anybody should or be a carrying drag. people, it's yeah, or a drag, uh, a a battle buddy breakout. No, sure, I'll, dude. I'll think of something. I like alliteration. <laughs> yeah, weirdo. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's I'm I'm excited for it because it looks fun but we'll see i'm gonna jump in in chapter two yeah we'll give it a shot um i guess it's uh it's technically it would be season 11 um yeah is or anywhere from like two season one yeah anywhere from like the 15th to the 17th that it's supposed to come out and start oh as in like today yeah oh okay it's so i was gonna check this morning but i i was setting up i'll go download it as soon as eight o'clock <laughs> that's um, interesting so. i like the i like the idea of not having to buy shit. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. oh, there's uh, bots. But. There's going to be bots that you can add into the game to train. Oh, all right. So that's cool. Like, um, I don't know if you ever played CS 1.6 online. Sometimes you just Call jump of in. Duty used to do that, too. Yeah, just bots. jump in. Yeah. Um, they were annoying, though. <laughs> they're too easy. <laughs> Dude, no. On 1.6, hard bots, like, they oh, just. Oh, yeah. Ugh. 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 Yeah, that's how you learn, like, peak zones is you play with the bots on hard and you're like i didn't know you could get a shot off through there what the <laughs> fuck what i hate about playing against the computers i feel like every time it's like you knew where i was you knew <laughs> yeah that's not fair <laughs> yeah shooting through walls and shit <laughs> computer like i'm in the computer no fuck that i fucking that's why i don't do like um like slot machines that are digital mm. i don't do mm. that i don't fuck with too that. much disconnect yep i don't trust you yeah. i don't trust you i know it's programmed i know it's programmed yeah. to not Give me money. Yeah. So why would there you. Why would there be so many in this <laughs> yeah. if you were trying to give and, me money? And I know, I know, like the real slot machines are probably rigged too. But I, I, I trust them more yeah. for some reason. <laughs> you that the, I feel the same way because, um, like, analog slot machines, even if they are rigged, required engineering. Right. Whereas if it's digital, all you had to do was go. Don't give him money. And <laughs> it won't. Like it's not. You I, I just feel like the real ones are more like a die roll than mm, the yeah, digital ones. A weighted die roll, maybe. Maybe. But still, dude. I bought a set of a weighted die. I thought I was gonna use it for things. I didn't. But it's it's uncanny how like natural it looks. Really? Yeah. Unt- That's it's amazing. Like five. Once you roll like three to five times, you're like, oh, okay, get it. But it's like the first couple, you're like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm going to go steal some kids' dollars. That's interesting. It's cool. They're expensive, though. I really? Mean, yeah, I think I paid maybe like 50 bucks for them. What? Yeah, they look good, though. They were quality dye. Those, that's crazy because those, like, y- like when you hold it, like obviously you can't tell the difference. Mm-hmm. So it's like a, such a small amount of weight that mm-hmm. makes a difference. Mm-hmm. That's so crazy. And I watched like a How Stuff Works thing, and apparently they usually bore out the uh, the dots and just add weight in there. Oh. So that even if it's clear and you look at it, it looks normal. Wow. I was like, oh, that's It's just weird. a heavier, like a heavier yeah. substance. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, then it's going to end up on the bottom. <clears throat> it's like toast, like buttered toast. What's the opposite of the six? What? What's opposite the six on oh, the die? So it, Is it no, one? You choose, yeah. So every, because on a <clears throat> six side, right, it's every side adds up to seven. Wait, Every, what? So on a six-sided die, on the bottom is a six, top is a one, and the left is a two, and the right is a five. So every oh, okay. adds up to a seven. Yeah. I never knew that. That's cool. Yeah, so that's how you, <laughs> that's how you can tell quickly if it's like a, a well-made die, hmm. you know, if it's proper. Interesting. But And then that's why they would – I watched the house stuff work. It's the only way I know this. <laughs> but that's why they started boring out the, the dots because it needed to equal seven, so they would just get regular dice and – Instead of making their own, because some people used to make their own, because uh-huh. um, I guess that's easier. But <coughs> whatever, you know, whatever, dude. Vegas odds <clears throat> and stuff. Right, right, right. I don't know. Do casinos have weighted dice? Do they? No, do they no, 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 no. Those are <clears throat> you sure? Super illegal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The casino doesn't need to cheat. Like the system it has is already designed to make them money. Yeah, that's fair. So like. Everyone's like, the, the deck is stacked. It's not that the deck is stacked. It's that you sat down at a blackjack table that's running eight decks. Like, Yeah, well, that's so stupid. Yeah. Statistics do change at that point. <laughs> like, <laughs> Immensely. <laughs> yeah. And, and once you throw in the eight decks and then house rules of like not splitting and not double downing, like blackjack's an easy 
way not easy but it's like it's a pretty straightforward way to make some money mm-hmm. and that's why you don't see it <laughs> i don't that's why i don't gamble slot machines. i don't gamble at casinos like that because i get worried that people are gonna get mad at me i always hear stories of like people playing like blackjack and shit and then people get mad at how they like bet and stuff mm. and i'm like i don't need that energy you know <laughs> <laughs> i just i hate confrontation well I think that that would be more so on like a heads up game of poker or like Texas Hold'em where everyone's playing against each other. But in Vegas, you're but, usually playing against the but house. But blackjack, you're all playing against the house. Yeah. So like yeah. you could so. fuck over other people. How? By the be- I don't know, dude. No, I, don't you can't. I don't understand it enough. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Um, I again. I don't but think, I've heard stories. That's yeah. What I'm no, saying, I get what you're so. saying, but I think that's more for poker because blackjack is one, it's a one on one game. It's your hand versus the house's hand. So what you do doesn't affect anyone else because the house. But it it does though. It does like the amount of cards that come out. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know how it works. But <laughs> I'm telling you, people get mad. No, people do get mad. But those are the people that are like, I have to wear my lucky socks, and they're stupid. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you can break the house eventually game. if you do it right and cheat. Yeah. Anyway, where were we talking about Vegas um, not cheating? Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to. Yeah. Um. Fortnite chapter Fortnite, two. Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah. We can get into that. We we'll can try. try we'll see if it's up. I don't even know if it's up right now. I yeah. <laughs> I yeah, I wanted to it. talk about this because I thought it was so funny. It is very funny. They were like, done. We're done. Twenty four hours. We're done. Forty eight. You don't know. Sorry. We don't know. We're not gonna tell you. <laughs> Later bitches. They're like, We need a vacation, you guys. Like we really need a couple of days. Yeah. So that's probably what it was. Yeah. Our server room has been running at 300 degrees, guys. <laughs> Dude, Let's it's let it so cool hot. off. <laughs> like, we needed to bring in an industrial air conditioner <laughs> to fucking cool off. We just pump liquid nitrogen into that room. Dude, it's so it crazy. Cold. Like, I have no idea the amount of power or, like, what goes into, like, a game like that. You know, like, I, I hope we get to the point in this podcast where we can do, like, tours of fucking, like, Blizzard. And that would be epic dope. games. That would be, be super like, can dope. Can you just show us what goes on here? Yeah, like, can you just I would explain love, it to us? Yeah, that would be so cool. Like, we don't know it. We don't understand shit. Mm-hmm. But if you can tell us, like, yeah. we'll listen. We, and we'll <laughs> bring cameras because we are funny, <laughs> but we're dumb. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're like no cameras. Like, all right, how about a microphone? <laughs> <laughs> One microphone. All right, my friend has a blue mic. Can all I right. bring that? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we'll just record on our iPhones. You know what? <laughs> our iPhone 12s brought to you by the Buddy System. <laughs> that new iPhone looks dope, huh? Uh, I don't think I like I like like one piece sleep. My favorite iPhone still is iPhone five. What? It was it was <laughs> it had hard edges. It was flat. The the oh, le- yeah. the lens was recessed into the the phone. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, the eleven kind of sticks out, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Kind of annoying. The but but the buttons were the only thing that weren't flush. So uh-huh. if you get an iPhone 5 with edge-to-edge screen, I will buy it. But everything else up until this point is like, ah, you guys had it right over there for mm-hmm. me. For That's me. Fair. Um, I don't know, man. I like the new screens. Like, they just they take up the whole phone. Edge-to-edge, yeah. I like the fucking, like, the bar at the bottom deal mm. instead of the button. I used to think that I would not like, like, just a digital, like, home button. Because I was like, it's going to mess up, and I'm not going to be able to, like... Haptic feedback is a game changer. And, yeah, and I was, like, my current phone does something similar, mm. and I, I have not had a problem with it. Yeah. So I'm like, well, if no, they can do it... you know what? It. You're right. The Because uh, I think I explained this to you before, the, the home button on the iPhone is not a button. Um, not anymore? No, no. Like, this is all one piece yeah. now, and it's pressure. Yeah. But they've since gotten away from the the 3d press technology yeah i heard it didn't really uh pan out the way they wanted it to. it was useful Which i like i like the idea of it i i agree i agree you but can do the same thing just hold it down yeah really yeah it, pressure. it gives like, you more stress that you need to put on the hardware than yeah. necessary yeah you know so i get it but it was a cool idea it was a cool idea just um, not practical yeah that edge to edge is cool but i think again they just they had it right in terms of a what but I do have Asian hands. I just want to get a <laughs> big ass phone, dude. Like I haven't had like one of the big, big phones yet. And mm. I just want to know what that's like. Oh, my coworker, she buys like 
all the iPhones, so she usually has the biggest and the best one. Yeah. Um. So I always like I go, what does it look like? And I'm like, this is too much. It's so big. I know. Yeah. And like, especially like when you see like tiny girls with them, and yeah. it's like that's an iPad for yeah. you. Like you don't <laughs> need that. Like, it's like well, yeah, your iPhone 11 has two pop sockets. Maybe it's too much for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I I I just. I don't understand why somebody so small would have such a big phone. Like, and then I, I love to see like them drop them. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, you should have got a smaller phone. Like, yeah. It's clearly too big. Like if I carried my iPad around, like it was a phone, I'd probably drop it all the time. <laughs> no, I take care of my shit, dude. Fuck that. When I had, when I took it into Jonathan to fix it, like he took it out of the case and put it on the, he was such a weird kid. Uh, he, he took my phone out of the case put it on the the table and then made weird eye contact with me and was like, is there any damage on this phone that I can't currently see that I should know about? Like I was going to lie to him and I was like, nah, dude, I take care of my shit. Who's this? The, the kid, the Apple genius that helped me. Oh, oh His okay. name is Jonathan. I'm, and I, I talk about him in my set sometimes. Oh, right, right, right. Because <laughs> it's so weird. But he put it down and he was like, like fucking investigating me like interrogating me it's like is there anything i need to know about and i was like no dude i take care of it and then he goes to look at the phone and then he looks at me all relieved like this phone is in immaculate condition and i was like <laughs> i just yeah, said that why are you attacking me then jonathan like <laughs> fuck off jonathan <laughs> leave me alone it was such a weird dude but yeah. i got free phones so i can't be mad apple game apple game i don't even have apple care like i went in I would never get Apple Care. I get it, but I I don't break my shit, so yeah. Take care yeah, of your shit. Yeah, I haven't. I I mean, I've broke my iPhone before. I have, but I've learned not to. I was I was in college, and I went to the gym, and it was closed, cause how it was like Easter or something. It was it was in it's the um like the campus gym, you know, like it's like the student activity center. We called it the SAC. It oh, was the student yeah, yeah, activity yeah. center. Um, and it was closed and I was like, fuck. So I went back home and I was like, <clears throat> I had my keys and my phone in one hand. And I think, I can't remember if I had, I don't know, but I went, you know how like you make that interchange where like you're trying to get your keys out from like under your phone kind of, and oh, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then my phone fell flat right oh. on its face. And I, I like, you know, it's like, it goes face down and you're just like, I don't even want to pick that up. Yeah, like, I will drive away. <laughs> yeah. Like I no, I was at home. Oh. So I was like at the door, like getting my keys you out to it. unlock my you door made it. <laughs> oh, no. and fucking, I was just like, I know it's broken. Cause you know, like it falls, it hits like on the edge first and then like falls flat. And you're like, that's, it's definitely broken. Yeah. Especially the older iPhones. I think it was like a four. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, that was a problem. That's with- what I get for going to the gym, dude. <laughs> That's what I learned. That's the problem with the hard edge that I do like is that when it hits a hard edge, it's likely going to crack the screen. Yeah. But I'm, my phone's always in a case. So, yeah. Um, whatever. Yeah. Take care of your shit is my point. Yeah. Um, all right. So there's the Hong Kong protests. So <clears throat> this might take a second. So basically, Hong Kong used to belong to Brit- Great Britain, right? And then Great Britain gave Hong Kong back to China. And Hong Kong and China had an agreement <clears throat> of like... You can keep, like, the laws that were in place that you had under British rule, which is more, like, freedom of speech, freedom of internet, all that bullshit. <clears throat> bullshit. All that good stuff. Until, like... Freedom of speech. <clears throat> well, all that yeah. bullshit. <laughs> uh, until, like, 2047. And in but in that time, they were supposed to come up with some kind of agreement to where, like, Hong Kong would be, like, a part of china essentially so basically like you're looking at like a democratic city trying to stay out of a communist country so china passed a bill that was like people from hong kong could be extradited now to like mainland china and other countries because people would like <clears throat> commit crimes and then they could flee to Hong Kong because nobody had jurisdiction or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Word it was like an use. independent state. Yeah. You basically like amnesty or I think that's the proper term that like you're, you can't be touched. <clears throat> so 
when that happened, people started protesting because at that point, then like communist China can kind of just come in and take whoever they want. And at that, and then you, you know, you start risking all kinds of different um, personal liberties um, when you start letting people, a communist country in, and then they're just going to take more and more until there's nothing left. Um, so there was a, <clears throat> a Twitch streamer who like put on a gas mask and like said, had some very like, pro hong kong uh remarks on twitch and i think twitch banned him i should probably check that <laughs> it's um the act of a i shouldn't call it a public forum because it's not but we use it as such so i'm, I'm gonna use it in that sense the act of a public forum being able to ban anyone for their own arbitrary reasons is mm. seems almost irresponsible. Almost right, right. So, <clears throat> so he, it was, it was an event, a Hearthstone event that was being streamed on Twitch. So Twitch banned that streamer. Um, after the remarks, and then <clears throat> Blizzard. Because it was at a Hearthstone event, like suspended this guy basically for some amount of time. Um, and then on top of that, obviously there's like a lot of backlash because <clears throat> most people clearly are like on Hong Kong side, freedom of speech, all that stuff that america stands for so after this happened then like blizzard had employees walk out they were supposed to have an event this weekend um over something with the switch and they canceled it so they're getting a lot of backlash and blizzard's usually a company that's pretty much on the forefront of like they're usually pretty good so i'm i'm and what ha what what was weird is that it was like it was like their terms of policy that like this is about the sh the game and like they just basically like keep politics out of it. So it was it was more of like a it wasn't specifically because of the their support for the Hong Kong protests. It was just that they were talking about something other than the game or the sport, quote unquote. So I just thought that was very interesting. Like that was a, a weird situation, I thought. Yeah, I think uh, I, I, I agree with. I guess here's how I feel about it. I shouldn't say I agree or disagree. Is that that streamer essentially got fired for talking shit at work? <laughs> yeah, basically. Like that's what happened. And <clears throat> but so, he is like an independent contractor. Yeah. it's like a comedian saying saying that. True, but a comedian can get banned from a room. Like that's where you work for the night. Yeah, you can. So like you can. <laughs> you definitely. You, I've you seen can, it. You can still get fired. You you your a comedian on their own is nothing without a stage and a, an audience. And that's what you, it's a partnership, you know? So in the sense of like, yes, he's a streamer and he's his own personality. He's using someone else's platform and that platform comes with its own rules. Right. So because he violated those terms of policy, like I, I don't think, and I, and when I read it, I, I don't, I guess I never really thought that they banned him because of his political statements. I, they banned him because he was making political statements They're like that's right. not what this is about but that's not how it was perceived because yeah. you know culture yeah which is days. dumb like those people that walked out from blizzard were probably gonna submit their two weeks anyway <laughs> you don't just walk <clears throat> out from a job at blizzard i bet you they're all like chinese i bet you they're all ugly incels <laughs> like because yeah once you start making money mm. you have to understand you've drawn a line in the sand that this is where professionalism comes in mm and being considerate and handling yourself with tact. Like, you can have those thoughts. Tweet it, though. Don't, you know, because n now if you're doing it on your stream, which you know is going to get hits at an event, which you know is going to get extra hits, now you're taking advantage of the platform that was offered to you instead of using your own. And so I... That's true, but at the same time, look at the amount of attention that's being brought to the Hong Kong protests right now. I didn't even know it was a thing. <clears throat> 
So like he did like if he was trying to bring attention to it and awareness, like he did it, at least in this this community. That's true. You're right. We in are a, talking a, about it now, but most people can't even point to where Hong Kong is on a map. It's in southeast China. I didn't say you well, couldn't. Actually, it's in Hong Kong, but yeah, technically, it's, technically, it's, Hong it's Kong. not in yeah. China. But <laughs> Dang, that's kind of what the whole protest is about. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're not wrong, and he did bring awareness to it, but... And then, I'm sure he makes plenty of money. I'm sure he's not going to be, like, really... <clears throat> but they did, like, pull back. Her, uh, Blizzard did was, like, less than his quote-unquote sentence. Mm. Uh, Calling it a suspension was a solid move, because yeah. then there's no end time. They can elongate it or shorten, shorten it, it, depending on how the media feels about it. Yeah. And yeah, so so they did they shortened it. So Ooh, they solid did. PR team there. I didn't even think about they that. Did. Make it a suspension. Yeah, and the uh, good for you. There was a guy from Blizzard that made a statement and he w- and he basically explained like what we were saying, like what you were saying about like it's our event, like we don't talk politics at our, our on our stream at our event, whatever the fuck the situation was. So mm-hmm. and the, he didn't like they didn't really apologize. <laughs> they were just like, No, like they he basically broke our terms of service. That's Yeah. Yeah, there were rules. Yeah. And he ignored them or didn't know them. It's just interesting that like I don't know, like a company like Blizzard, you I consider to be pretty progressive. I mean, they're in California, they're in Irvine for Christ's sake. Like they're kind yeah. of they're in that culture. True. It's just weird. I don't know. I think it was probably like a snap like like we gotta shut this down. Yeah. We gotta do something. That's probably been like a scenario that they run like, hey, what happens if something like th- especially mm. in this climate? Like, yeah. I'm sure there was already a handbook written for something like this because yeah. a terms of service essentially is like a, a prenup for a business partnership. You know? <laughs> it is. You're right. So it's like w- once shit starts getting squirrely, hey, this is what we do. Like, yeah, you know, he's talk politics. So you can't stream. Yeah, it is obnoxious nowadays that people take business decisions as people making like personal choices yeah you know what i mean it's like it's like this is not somebody deciding against this person this is a business making the best choice for the business yeah if you don't understand that then you're not gonna understand a lot of things in life that's what i was i was saying about like blizzard making this like game time call it's like it's to social justice warriors and people looking to be outraged it it looks like they're like oh they're anti hong kong or anti free speech or like, but yeah. yeah that's that's a knee jerk reaction right but I, somehow that reaction gets traction that mm. rhymed <laughs> such a rapper <laughs> i know i'm a rapist <laughs> <laughs> so i i don't know how to combat that as a person like clickbaity headlines and like because even just sitting with the the headline for a little bit, you know, thirty seconds, like thinking about what they're saying, is like, well, hold on, there's more to this story. Yeah, <clears throat> and headlines are very deceptive. I hate it. I hate it so much. So that's why I, I don't take in any news at all. <laughs> yeah, I generally don't. <laughs> so just when video Fortnite, game stuff. yeah, when Fortnite hit my stream, I was like, oh, this what? is huge <laughs> right now. <laughs> and then I saw what they were doing, and I was like, oh, there's. Definitely some kids throwing a fit right now. Yeah, and there's definitely some people with good sense of humor in that office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that are enjoying it. Like, I bet you we could go on YouTube right now and look up, like, people Reaction. freaking out. Yeah. <gasps> oh, my yeah. God. We should do that. <laughs> That's how we should end this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Let me see. Because I mean. uh, there was, I was telling my girlfriend, there was a kid that was for sure waking up going, I'm going to play Fortnite tomorrow. It is my all birthday. Oh, I'm going to do it dude. all day. <laughs> it just turned into the worst day of his life. Oh, shit. Just crying. So funny. Mom, I just don't, I don't get it. There's a black hole. And What's everything. a black hole? It was dope. It was a cool event, though, because it's something of that scale is unprecedented. They had 1.6 million viewers for this event on Twitch. Okay, are you ready? Crazy. This is a five-minute video of different reactions. Oh, are you ready? Yes, let's go. We'll just fade out into this. Hey, guys, thanks for listening to this episode. Um, we're going to go watch some reaction videos. Most people videos. know the black hole in Fortnite was a marketing ploy. It was used to generate hype for Chapter 2 Season 1. But 
Not everybody knew that, and the reactions to the black hole in Fortnite basically deleting itself, well... Wow. Oh. Frick! Frick! What the fuck happened to Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs>